they live, they win. All of them. Enough pain now. There must be a reckoning. The pain may end right now. The reckoning is here. Spare me your compassion, for it comes far too late. Who are you? I am retribution. A word. An idea. But who are you? I am her fury. No longer. I am their nightmare! You were. It will not be so easy. For I will end your dreams. Is that an end to it? Yes. If you want it to be. Are you sure? In your hand you weigh my death, the last stone laid upon my broken body. I'm so very sorry. Will you leave? Are you ready? I have lingered so very long. Where now will I go? I don't know. A better place, I believe. A quiet place. Quiet is good. Deborah Comenius, mere words can ill describe your suffering. And if they could, I'd not utter them now. Enough wrong has been done you. Your tale is told, and we thank you for it. You are hurt, and free to go. Hey, I'm right here. Aye, you are. The time has come, and I must go. That was the promise I made. We've done good work here. 
We've made my death count for something. One day, we'll meet again. Take all the time in the world. I love you, Rory McGrath. These years I've spent by your side have made me a better man. You taught me to survive. You taught me to live. Thank you. From my heart of hearts, thank you. Farewell, my love. Death for the dead. Life. For the living. If grief is an odyssey through hell, then what appears to be the end is often just the beginning. New Eden never recovered. For years, neither did Red. But in time, the pain of Antea's loss faded, and only the bittersweet beauty of their love lived on in his memory. Who knows? Perhaps, years from now, a legendary Scotsman, his hair grey, shall sit with his children and many apprentices and tell them a story. The tale of his beloved Antea. Of how she lived, and how she died, and how together, in New Eden, they lifted a curse and defeated a nightmare. Hey, I'm right here. Hi. You are. It's time for the lesser palingenesis. Time to bring you home. From flesh to word, word to heart. From flesh to word, word to heart. Air to fire, fire to earth. I'm hollowing. It's working. Air to fire. Fire to earth. Ending to beginning indivisible. Death to the living. Life to the dead. Ending to beginning indivisible. Death to the living. Life to the dead. Antea. Antea!
bread. It won't. It won't. This is left. Antea never fully recovered from the time when she was dead. And the things he'd done to bring her back had changed Red too. Some say you should fight for what you want. But some fights, I believe, are best lost. Battered by their ordeal at the hands of the Nightmare, the lovers must rebuild from the wreckage. A new and stronger union. For better, or for worse. Now, far from the place where New Eden once stood, Red and Antea will renew their love. A shared interest will bind them once more. A taste for forbidden fruit. Hey, I'm right here. You are. This is unfair. Yet here we are. What am I going to do? I said I had died, not you. Either way, we must part. I love you so. <laughs> You were the love of my life. Stay. Just a little longer. You promised you'd let me go. Maybe we could just... No! Stay. Please. Don't do this. I can't stay. You know I can't. My one and only love. Thank you. Farewell.
I wish I could tell you that time heals all, but that would be a lie. There are already too many lies to this tale. New Eden never recovered. Neither did Ruri Macraith. Guilt does not always lessen with time. Some wounds never close. Some scars remain tender, but who knows? Perhaps someday, a grey-haired Scot may sail to Cuba and tell the Duarte family of their daughter's death. And of her greatness. Perhaps he may even admit that he misses her. And will miss her his whole life long. Hey. I'm right here. Aye. You are. It's time for the Lesser Palingenesis. Time to bring you home. From flesh to word, word to heart. From flesh to word, word to heart. Air to fire, fire to earth. I'm hollowing. It's working. Air to fire, fire to earth. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living. Life to the dead. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living. Life to the dead. Antea. Antea! Liar. What? You swore on it, Ruri McGraith. You swore you'd bring me back. Step away, Banisher. That's not Antea. Oh! At our first meeting, I took your measure. I found you wanting. How I was right. What the hell? Where's Antea? You have failed her. Again. Deborah! Enough games. Let them go. Let us go. Hush, child! Uh. The adults are talking. She's innocent. Innocence is another name for buried guilt. <sighs> She's not done with us. Not by a long way. Not for a long time. <gasps> Find me. Find us. Your one true love! For this, you deserve a reward. The same reward over and over! No! Let her go! Please! Let her go! I beg you, no! Take me instead! Let her go! Cowardice, anger, treachery. This and more is the stuff of our tragedy. Zealotry, ignorance, hubris. The list of human failings is endless, and in this fertile soil grows all of our miseries. Though Antea and Red won many battles against a devious and relentless foe, right now, the war seems lost, for a nightmare is born of the darkest injustice and will brook no mercy. But hope remains. The curse may yet be lifted. 
Some brave soul may yet defy the nightmare that once was Deborah Comenius in the meeting house in New Eden. She awaits their return. Thank you! Ah, you're awake. <laughs> 